Lorenzo, if you weren't playing pro ball, what would you be doing? If I wasn't playing pro ball, I'd probably be in the financial district some way, uh, maybe wealth management, helping young guys keep their money that get in the league and really educating them so they can uh, have uh, a good future with their family. Tell us a little bit about the ACES Foundation. Uh, the ACES Foundation is my nonprofit. If you want to get involved, LorenzoAlexander.org. Me and my wife run it uh, year round, and it's just a great way to give back to the community, especially the youth. Uh, just really developing them so they don't make the same mistakes that I made, might have made on my wife, you know, growing up. As a family, how do you make it all work with the, with the football, the charity, everything? Uh, as far as you know, running my family, my charity, our businesses, uh, I definitely want to be able to do it uh, because of all the hours without my wife. Uh, she's definitely my rock and uh, really runs everything, making sure the kids are in school, you know, doing my daughter's hair, making sure the business is ran, you know, the marketing. She does a lot of things for us, and uh, without her, I'd be lost. It'd be way overwhelming. I hear you're into Pilates. Uh, <laughs> do you want to tell our female fans why you love it so much? Uh, I'm definitely into Pilates. Got started uh, this past year. Kendra Gosen kind of brought me in, and uh, we actually bought a Pilates studio, the studio MBS.com. Uh, if you want to come out and join, uh, me, my wife, and Ken and his wife run the company. We're the owners, and, and it's great. Uh, you know, good conditioning, core, uh, you know, get to tone your body, a little bit of everything uh, without putting too much impact on your joints. So last week, Fred Davis, we interviewed him, and he said he's the best dancer on the team. What do you think about that? Uh, Fred Davis being the best dancer, uh, you know, I've been out with him a couple of times. I don't know if he has that one. Uh, I actually like Anthony Armstrong a little bit better. Awesome. Uh, his, his dances uh, when he scored touchdowns are way better. Okay. okay. What is your pump-up song pregame? <laughs> My pump-up song pregame is definitely uh, Holy Moly uh, by Chris Wilson. Came out last year. Check it out. I think it's on uh, iTunes. Great song. Love it. How's it go? Couple beats? I'm going holy moly. <laughs> holy moly. <laughs> that's, you know, that's the tune too. It's pretty cool though. Check out wildredskins.com weekly for more Q&As.